Fish. Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. Michael B. is going to stick around for just the draft portion, and then he's got to go to Betty Bye. See how it goes. Okay, well, <laughs> he's coming to life. I think we just take this Rafellos. Yeah, I'd slam it. There's no green cards in this pack to uh, to get confused. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sweetie boy. Simple man. Play the forest. Slam the big boys. Yeah, I think when I stop the recording, it freezes because, like, um, it just takes a lot of processing power or whatever to, uh, you know, to, you know, I, you know, it's computer stuff. You know, guys, you wouldn't understand. Lots of metachlorians, you know. Yeah, so you gotta, it's got a high metachlorian count. Mm -hmm. And that once those get all gummed up in the works, then who knows what's going to happen to you. Yeah, and then you got to grab your flange, you know, so... Michael, I thought the police said you can't grab your flange anymore. <laughs> parks and Rec reference, but she did. Wait, what is yours? Yours is a Parks and Rec reference? Yeah, because when they're at the Halloween party and she's helping fix the stuff, oh, Anne. when Anne is like, like, yeah, I hit it with a flange, you know? <laughs> she's like, I know, but I just like talking like this. It's so fun. Yeah. See, and then you, I guess Sundering Titan would be fine if we hit Channel. But that's really like the most Rafellos card I could see in here. Scavenging is maybe? You could also just jump ship and take Urza. I think that's the thing as well. Just keep well. taking the legends until one hits, you know? You guys see the internet as a series of two? Dude, I heard that. Also, I feel like Titan might wheel. It's kind of bad. In maybe. Most decks. But it's also good with Urza too, so maybe we just take Urza and... Yeah, I don't think we lose much by taking Urza even if we... I mean, I guess we lose it. To, 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 to Reefy? Tariferson? Big Tarifs? I think it's Birds. Yeah, I like birds better than these two, and those are the blue contributions. It could just be Teferi. What if we're blue white Dirtalinos? That is an archetype. I don't want to be that though. I want to be birds. I want birds. For the birds, you know. Oh no! I, I think Show and Tell's a trap. I actually actively oh, enjoy right. building around Eureka, which I'm going to do right now. You're going to watch it happen with this fat daddy. Yeah, that did work out. You know what? We're doing it. This is the dream, that, and you guys are just going to watch it happen. Sylvan Carry added? Got it. Yeah, okay. It is actually kind of a pet card, because I think people misjudge Eureka because they think it's like show and tell, where show and tell, they're like, I'll put an Oblivion Ring, in, and you just lost, you know? Uh, Eureka is much different because you build around it, and you're able to put so many different things into play. Like, you can also put a Rex Age into play. So if they do Oblivion Ring, you get to Rex Age. You know, it's... The, the, the amount of cards that you're able to put in with Eureka outweighs whatever one thing your opponent might have that's good for them. Yeah, also, it's only a mana more. It's just like a... You get more stuff, you know? I think we all got knocked out in our dreaming. <laughs> Yeah, Michael, fix your microphone. Fix your Michael phone. Remember when you put the child log on the microphone? Yeah, so you couldn't ruin it? I appreciate it. <laughs> this card, man. Unplayable. Garbage. I also feel that way, but... Even in Commander. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm going to find out today. If you're trying to play a more fair deck, my argument in Commander is like, either commit to playing the Natural Order or don't play the Natural Order creature. It's funny that you have to sack this and another green creature. Yeah, it's bad. But I don't know why it's in here, right? Like, that makes me really confused because I'm I'm just like... That being said, well, we might just play it because it's like a body with an upside, but... Right. And then you see a pack like this and you're like, see you oh, later. God. I mean, I'll take the Iona. Yeah, that's the only... Did they put Tooth and Nail back in this cube? I really don't know why they would take it out. But I could see that's playing Iona with Tooth and Nail. I agree. I think it's one of the green staples. Like... That's why you go big. You know? Oh yeah! I'll take a worm. Does that? Did worm and opposition both table? That's also, if you get channel, turn two fellows, turn two fellows, turn two fellows, <laughs> turn three three forest and a fellow Are equals you one a worm. Of the turn two fellows. Hold on, you didn't hear the rest. Oh, my apologies. Turn two, you got a two fellows and three forest. How are we got getting yourself two a worm. fellows on turn two? Because uh, two fellows is a joke. Because I didn't say row fellows, so that's just one card to be clear. I know it's very confusing. <laughs> two fellows. Look, man, you turn two fellows into three forests and you got yourself a worm. I don't know what the problem is. See, I think I understand what you're saying, but I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. A little bit of both. 
<laughs> it is a little bit of both. It certainly is. Oh, turn to good fellows. Mm, I like it. Do you? Doesn't make sense, but I do, do you... like. Bam. Hey, called Bam. it. Oh, the Garrett came back too. Solid. So basically, we got everything we wanted from Sundering Titan to Garrick to the Worm Coil that we didn't even know we wanted. We are maybe you didn't know. Where's the it? channel? I knew I wanted it. This is a good channel start too. Buddy, every time we have a channel, we never draw the second part. Everybody knows. Come on. This time, this is going to be our moment. Yeah. The gambling addict says he spends his last dollar. <laughs> this is it. This is my chance. I'm back right now. I swear. But he didn't. I'm homeless now. Do you still have all those random stream toys like the glasses and pepper hat? I sure do. I'm going to freeze to death. Freeze? <laughs> it's already happening. I can't even talk. But you've been freezing your whole life. I stay freezing, boy. Oh, Gaia's Cradle, huh? Is that good? I've heard tales. I'll take the Gaia's Cradle. I'll first pick that that bish. Well, take it easy. No. Also, that makes the Arbor Elf table really good. Uh, I, I was won't, thinking that, but... too. Oh. What? We're splashing this for this guy, but... It sure fellows first. But this, yeah, this also Keep just... Keep it clean, yeah, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Plus the through the breach is most. I mean, that's a tabler. It's really specific. That's you know? I don't know about all that. Trust in me. I will disappoint you. Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating. Yo yo, but that Nissa though. Come on. I agree. This is come a good on. Nissa. It's a Nissa deck. Keep it, Faristos. You know. Keep it Faristos. Make Avon proud. You know. Make Avon proud. Yeah. Forests and John Avon is what you're saying. They go together. I understand. I mean, he makes a lot of art, but I feel like his forests really, really, they're really crisp. They're really crisp forests. It's satisfying. <laughs> Queen, probably. Queen Oma? it. Queen it real good. Burn, 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 burn. Right, we also got sneak attack in here. Could have, could have been, could have been sneaking, Michael. Oh, sneak attack with Sundry Titan is pretty gross, right? Kill their lands twice. Attack them for seven. I think it's just queen, though. Yeah. That's what we wanted. That's all I wanted for this deck. Justified. What's the name of the show? It was Justified. There we go. The most cowboy show that was ever invented. In our stream chat, Kerwit... Uh, changed her name to Toe Stubbs. <laughs> oh wow, that's uh, that's pretty appropriate. I'm just like, it's Green Sun or Mirror Battles here. It might be Green Sun here. I think we have enough big guys. And Green Sun is also good to channel if you can just get one more green for it. Plus, it gets all of these guys. It gets Rafellos. Let's take this Courser of Cruf Crufina. What's the downside to having your phone on Do Not Disturb? Oh, what fall Primus is your boy? Oh, but seven mana Karn and Land or Elves? Fudge, this is a... Even four mana Karn if you want. This is a pack. I think I kind of want Woodfall Primus. Yeah, I think we want top end. Top notes. Vanilla. Cream. Sugar. I don't know if it's Woodfall or Karn, to be honest with you. Karn is like Woodfall. But Karn is actually, you can play it with Channel. I think it's Karn for that reason. And I knew the Arbor Elf was going to come back. I mean, so I wasn't really concerned with the Llanowar Elf. You can also play Woodfall, technically speaking. But I know what you mean. I mean you have to have five forests to do yeah. that. And at that point, you're probably just hard casting it. See, Karn works with both Eureka and Channel, whereas Woodfall only works with Eureka. It's just math, you know? <laughs> That's just math. One plus one is two. One plus two one. Two plus two is four. Two. One plus one plus one, three. You know. Are you okay? No. That's unfortunate. Fucked up, you know? Why? Because this deck is looking sweet? Yeah. Because it's a sweetie boy. This is only pack two, bro. We still have a whole other pack after this. We gave you another pack? <laughs> no. Like, oh, oh Utopia Sprawl is playable. Yeah. I mean, so is Coma. I want the Coma, though. Just in case. Just in case. That trop, you know, you get that trop. We also have it. bird and noble, so oh, like, yeah, and we have Eureka. So, what could go wrong? Yeah, I feel like if we get any good fixing, we slam it. 
breeder, you know? You know about that breeder? Yeah, a good snake breeder to get a coma. Oh, that's a that's a Rex Sage. That's a good one. That is a good one. Good grief, man. Hey, Pelucranos ain't no ain't no slouch. Probably for a card that was printed in like what two thousand seven. It's in the signboard, man. I mean, if we get Pelucranos, maybe, but or not Pelucranos, uh, Progenitus. Two plus two equals four minus one equals three. I guess that's I guess that's true. No lies are told. Math is full of lies. Trust me, I did the math. Uh, God, do we really have to first pick a wall of roots? You can do it in a wall. <laughs> What's that? That's the that's the Naya. Yeah, that's a mountain forest plains. Basically useless. Agreed. I'll just take Wall of Root. What Naya deck has ever been good? Name one, I dare you. Don't, oh, Oracle Moldaya? This is it, man. This is the deck. Moldaya wasn't what I asked you, but it's fine. What did you ask me? Name one good Naya deck. Naya Lightsaber. That's made up. <laughs> that's, that's a real deck, buddy. Is it a current deck? No. Saber. Is it zoo? Is it just zoo? No, it's like a mid range deck with like Bane Slayers, Bloodbraid Elves, Noble Hierarchs. This was uh standard. This was the standard like shards of Alara. It's kind of like cool. Maybe a little after it. Oh, I do remember this deck. Is it this guy or is it just library? I'm kind of tempted to take the library, but I think we're a deck that empties our hands pretty. Library is in a forest, buddy. Ship it. Okay. Oh, that's what we're looking for. But also this guy. No. This guy. Was, uh, every time. You're right. You're right. You ever cast Crater Hoof? We also have Green opponent. Sun Zenith, which gets Crater Hoof. Not be absolutely dead. If you say yes, you're lying. Even in Commander, we have three opponents. I've never casted and not won the game. It's never happened. This is only 22 cards. We still get one more card to play. They give you a whole other card. It's only a cheaper of course. Nothing. <laughs> I said Willikers, <laughs> not Woolers or whatever. I guess Niatomic Stubs. I mean, do you think Galactus will ever reach that cabinet? Yeah, he's working on it. He's so close, you know? Oh, shit, Natural Order and Progenitus in the same pack? Ironic. I think we take Natural Order and hope for the table. Hope oh, for the wheel. Buddy, no one's ever picking that card. That sounds it's correct. literally unplayable without Natural Order. But we also have Crater Hoof. Oh, man. That could be good. Also, it's literally just natural order because it's bad with, like, sneak. It's bad with through the breach, usually. Yes, I What does doing those. 10 do? Nothing. Nothing. It does nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's like a null rod. It does nothing. Correct. See, I knew the text, you know. I know the text. Oh, other Ulamog? Shit. Brothers? Brother! I, I don't know what to see... The other one's better with the channel. Actually, I guess they're both good with channel. Yeah, they're both good with channel. This one's better if it... To, this one's better once it's in play for a while. This one's better to just... I don't know, actually. They're both good, right? Like, let's not. I like the new one. Really? Just... You never annihilated, bro? Yeah, but like... I don't know. I like Exile and two things. It's pretty cool. I wonder a Kogla. I think it's Kogla. Because we can search for him. You also could have took the good call. Good call. That's smart. Chocolate. The chocolate? The chocolate land to splash the coma, you know? I don't think we really need it. I, I just took a waterlogged grove. What more do you want from me? Five dollars. I'll take a worn power stone. That's not giving me five dollars. I'll take a relic of progenitus. Still not five dollars. I'll take <laughs> Temple Garden. There is your beautiful baby boy. There he is. You sound like an idiot. Yeah. The cut now? I got three cuts to make. Circle's good since we're on all forest. Yeah, I agree with that. We could probably cut something from the top That's end. Crazy. Here we go. Well, Daya? Yeah. Said it was crazy. 
You want to have a, you want another hot, hot uh, take? I want to? No, but I'll listen to it, I guess. I don't think it's that good in Commander. Okay, that's fine. Titan so is probably uh, the worst. What's Titan? Sundering Titan? Titan? I agree with that. I think certain decks it's worse for... I think it's a board in, so yeah, I agree yeah, with that. I agree with that. And that still leaves us with two Ulamogs and a Karn and a Worm Coil for our channel. It's got to be another top end thing, right? <coughs> I think Hornet Queen. Yeah, I, I agree with Hornet Queen as well. She's one of the least impressive uh, top end guys. I also think Kogla can probably go. And that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, like six big top end guys. Natural Order can get Crater Hoof and Progenitus. Um, Green Sun Zenith can get anything in our deck. But all the one drops they don't have a channel? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Trolls McGee. All right. Let's cast it. Well, look at this. I like that they're like, we'll give you one of each of these because of Progenitus. Let's give this even more. Uh, that's correct. We can also play 16 lands because really, mana, 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 which I kind of like. Uh, probably Kogla. Yeah, Kogla's pretty versatile. I agree. There's so many times where I'm like, man, Kogla just killed your thing. You stupid. And I could go for a sweet Coca Kogla. Solid. Proud of you. Let's go. Let's hit the play button. Michael's gonna stick around until he can't anymore. That's what he. That's what he's agreed to. I was going to take a break and go to the bathroom, but I knew if I did that, that would be your time to dip out. So I just kept rolling it. Well, speaking of which, I kind of got a poop. So You got a poop? Yeah, I might have to. Not yet, but I mean, I, it is now, but we'll see. <laughs> it is now, but we'll see. Yeah, you can hold it a little bit. <laughs> just hold, just pinch, him, pinch, your, pinch your cheeks, you know? Oh, my God. Sorry. We built this beautiful green deck together. But turn it away. Yeah. Night's still young, bro. Well, you know, if I go to bed now, I'd get eight. Get seven. I'm a seven, man. Seven ain't nothing but nothing but a nothing but a Seven's thing. legally legally <laughs> medically recommended. So we're, we're next good. Door to an emergency here. What does that mean? Do Americans use the phrase turtling? <laughs> You know, uh, I've heard turtling. I was heard prairie dogging. It's not that bad, but we are getting close. Seven is almost eight. Can't argue with that. It's true. Also, I only got like five hours of sleep last night, so you know, because sometimes you set your alarm for five forty-five, but then you wake up at five, and your body's just like, "Sorry, we're up now." All right, we're doing it. The dream is happening. Less than six and you're under arrest. I have heard that. Is that true? They arrest you? Yeah. Right to jail. Right to jail. <laughs> <laughs> right to jail. Less than six? Right to jail. More than nine? Right to jail. Jail. That's the uh, the, the guy from the other country, it's right? It's the Venezuelan yeah. played by... Uh, Oh, God, what's the his guy name? guy who's put a bird on it, the Portlandia. Dude. Yeah, I can't think of his stupid name, though. I always forget his Why name. I didn't call him stupid, but I said his name. It's like was you're insulting so stupid. him. Oh, it's probably like Jimmy the Smith. Jimmy the Smith. Yeah. Fred Armisen? It is Fred Armisen. That's correct, yes. That this is exactly correct. what I wanted to draw. I'm really actually, I'm pretty grateful for that. Oh, I thought you were lying because it's actually uncastable in play it's the worst thing i could have drawn that's correct it's literally it's literally the worst <laughs> thing i could have draw i could have draw <laughs> yeah stay low you know what i'm saying no no one can hear me now well, not right now. You don't. You can. You still got a little bit. You got a minute or two. Yeah. Now Eureka would be f fantastic. <clears throat> I stay banana banging. You know what I mean? Are you okay? Are you gonna? Are you gonna poop? God, I hope it doesn't relax the poop out of you. You don't know what happens. Sixty-five years old. Yet. 
couple minutes. So though? soon. Could change. Anything can happen. The tired. Leaning back for a second made you tired. Now. Your body is really easily tricked. Can you tell? Can you tell me honestly that after I don't know, like midnight, if you lay down, you're not going right to sleep. sleep Once you lay sleep. down, it's all over. Is it? Yeah. I'll put on YouTube. I'll be like, I'm gonna watch a YouTube. Two minutes in. Gone. Next story. This has been a fascinating story about Michael Bartholomew. How do they know my real last name? Oh. Dox. Say it, Dox. Why did you? You know what's weird about the new job? You spell it out like that. I have to give him my last name. Not an now. You have to give your your real name when when you're taking calls. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's weird. Why? Well, oh. So it's now like a representative of the brand. There's too many Michaels. In New Zealand, we sometimes describe turtling as trampolining or touching cloth. <laughs> oh, that's... I get it. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. There's definitely a security in, in telling people only my last initial. Yeah, for sure. You don't feel exposed. Yeah. I mean... I don't think they can find out where I live just based on my last name. So yeah, you in phone book? Somebody on Twitter pointed out like, remember that when they used to send out the book that had everyone's assassination address on it? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I forget who that was, but it was great. I think it was it anyone a, major. I think it was just a funny tweet in no, response I think to might have been like a small comedian, moronic. Uh, yeah, the whole plane bit. He's so stupid. Why would they do that? I'm like, well, I don't know. You could just. Google it. It's public information. I don't know, man. Yeah, don't man, get a private jet, loser. Secretive dude. The only guy with a private jet that's still a loser. <laughs> I bet there are others, man. <clears throat> yeah, probably. All right. Let's block here and you can discard your hand. Trade three for four. That's a whole lot of math. They discarded a pack rat, a Doretti, and an Academy Ruins. Cave Goblin. Do you, oh, you don't get, get to it. see the cards under the Bomac Courier, right? You can't look at it. It says it right on there. Don't look. Don't touch. Bird Paradise. Ooh. Ooh, Jimmy Craters. Jimmy Craters. Coming down the pike. These are things. You don't know about J- JC. Jimmy, Jimmy Craters is coming. Jimmy Craters crack corn and I don't even care, okay? Four, five, six. Oh, they're going to do something? You got to yeah, condemn? I don't know. God, Urza Saga is really good. <clears throat> Ridiculous. They keep printing cards with Urza on it that are broken. Michael, are you ready for this one? Jimmy cracked a cornulus. I don't care, even if he was born Ulyss on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you I say like that again for me? Nope. Jimmy <laughs> cracked a cornulus, and I don't <laughs> care. Because he was born Ulyss on Even if he was born Ulyss on Tuesday. Yeah, that's what I said. What's a cornulus? <laughs> What's well, a born you know. It's a born Ulyss. That's what you're going to say. Who can say? Oh wow, they got a Mox Diamond. Diamonds. And it gives them a little fat guy, you know? Mox Diamonds. Those guys get big too, you know? They didn't make a second guy? Oh, we're doing well here. That's good for us. Wait, they, why would they not? I think they just didn't know how to do it. They just hit okay when this is on the stack, I think. How to fix a magic card. Have your opponent not know how to play it. And this doesn't have anything discarded to it, or does oh, it? Oh, that's it annoying, though. This? I don't know. That guy's really good in a board full of artifacts. I guess they're going to sack this to the kill murder machine. Person. You got it. Yeah. All the murders. All the machines. Yes. Yes. Seven mana. Are you okay? My God, I think he's dying. 
Are you, are you doing all right? This little nerd. It's in the retro frame too. That guy's pretty cool. That guy's popping off. Isn't that a real thing? Let's throw a Eureka next turn. They have no cards in hand. There's no retro frame for Ragaman now. He cracked his cornulus. He did. Even though he was bornulus on Tuesday. Do you think you can make an entire commander deck out of old border? Not yet. Maybe, yeah, probably actually. No, I think someone's already. I done mean, it. would it be competitive? I don't know. <clears throat> I think someone you can definitely made do it. A the banana man, the black card, the salt eye. Oh, look at this guy. Whoa, that's pretty. That's like the pro tour pro. I think this is only available in foil. It's one bajillion dollars. Yeah, there is technically there is no. Oh, it's one of those like pro tour like very small printings like you're never gonna own anything. Uh, it says secret layer prize, whatever that means. I think if you put out some cheese after midnight under Wizard's door uh, and say the secret code get one, and send the email to the the father. Uh, Who's then, the father? Yeah, that, that's part of it. You got to know. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, it's very exclusive. I understand. It is free, though. It's you just have to solve the mystery. It's can like you, national treasure, you know. Can you guess who? Worse. Not me. Any wizard, yeah, any wizard will do. Nice. That makes sense. Any wizard will do, yeah. Are they just going to kill all my creatures? Sure. Teller, technically, but they're pretty popular. Does this so. give your other creatures haste? No, it just has haste no, on its own. Itself, yeah. I feel like they're not pressuring us very much. Why does it do so many things? Why do you exile a card and get a treasure token? Card. Nothing about this card is is grokable. What? Grokable. What's grokable? It's where it's uh like a way to and like it's understandable. You mean it's a real word? You didn't make it up. I did not make it up. I don't believe you. I don't care. Okay. Uh, to understand intuitively to know something without having to think intellectually it's an english word uh it's like a gaming kind of word okay coined by american author and aeronautical engineer robert a Heinlein in 1961 in his novel stranger in a strange land the word is described as being from the word to drink and figuratively to drink in all available aspects of reality to become one with the observed yeah i've literally not heard that yeah it's really popular in gaming culture Crocable, like understood by a crocodile. <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say the card's absolutely cracked. It's just oh, like shit, I keep dropping my magnets. I drop my magnets. Maybe if you had a long magnet to pick up your drop magnet. That's a good idea. I have that long magnet in the garage. I can get. Like, buddy, don't tempt me with a good time. I'll get my magnets. Uh -oh. I have heard of the book. That's good, but I don't read books, so. One per millennium, I think, is my limit for books. Oh, you're done for the for your life, then, I guess. Uh, I'm a vampire, so we got a couple more to go. Fascinating. But I'm like Blade, so I'm like a daywalker, so we're good. I always drop my cotton balls. I feel your pain. Sorry, Grandma. That's a bummer. They just cast this? They're going to fight my Rafellos? How did they even do that? right now wait is that our kogla yeah jiminy christmas yeah we're dead i mean no we're dead i mean technically next turn we're not actually dead but we are dead the writing's on the wall it's on your father well that's essentially useless so your father yeah Sure did throw a monkey wrench in there. Oh, did you kill that guy? Jesus, this is brutal. Remember when there used to be an argument for the best one drop of all time, and then they were just like, well, I guess that's solved. 
Let's move it up tenfold. Remember when it was like Birds of Paradise might be it, and then you're like, like not even Delver's comparable anymore, man. Delver's another card that I just wish was never printed. To be honest with you, yeah, that card shouldn't exist. It breaks every pie, and you know, I feel like Legacy would be a much more diverse and yeah, it makes Legacy varied more format if if it wasn't a thing. Because even though it's technically a fair deck, right? Delver just attacks the creatures, but it's like the only fair deck that exists because nothing can compare. It's just boring. This guy's an enchantment, so the game is actually even farther over than I thought. Oh, he's going to just... Yeah. He's gonna, Let's just go to the next game. He's going to slam it into the dirt. With oh, the there it is. I could have used that with my very limited life total. It reminds me of the fact that we don't know how strong gorillas are, which is terrifying. You're terrifying. Did you ever see that that question about whether a black bear a bear could beat uh if a bear fought a gorilla, who would win? I think there's that question about a lot of animals. Yeah, my possibly. money's on the on the gorilla. You're you'd be you'd be incredibly incorrect. Okay, how so? Uh, probably the claws. It's probably gonna be. Yeah, I mean a bear would bear versus gorilla. <laughs> That's got to be searched so often. I think it's the claws, right? Silverback gorillas can reach up to nearly 500 pounds, which is about half the weight of the largest grizzly bears. Yeah. A bear's strength without aggression is two to five times stronger than the average human. A gorilla is four to nine times stronger than the average human. Technically, we don't know that. How do we not know that? We actually, one of the things interesting is we actually don't know how strong gorillas are. Really? Because they seem to know. Look at this. <laughs> Great Photoshop work. I do think the bear would win for the weight advantage and the uh, claw advantage. Mm. But if you could teach the gorilla how to wrestle, we might have a shot. Dude, look at the size of the gorilla foot. Yeah, they're crazy. Or the, the bear foot, rather. I have bear foot when I don't wear socks. Yeah, but you just hit your toes, so what's the what's the... Pick up Katie and ask her how strong grills are. She would literally murder the entire household. She would not find that a worthy reason for wake upage. I wish this was like a one three instead of a two one. I feel like as a two one, it's very fragile. I do think the bear wins. I do think it would be a good fight though. It would be a good fight. I'd watch it on pay per view. I would certainly watch it while smoking a cigar and wearing a monocle and a top hat. The gorilla only has one attack on a grizzly, a bite. Gorillas do have a fearsome bite, and I have no doubt the bite would do some damage, but it would have to kill the grizzly almost immediately. Punching a grizzly, even from a gorilla, would do minimal damage. The neck is too thick to choke or snap. With smaller adversaries, a gorilla could pick them up, smash them around, and even rip off a limb. I don't see any way it could do any of these things to a grizzly. Yeah, that's a fair point. Like they're just massive creatures that like Yeah, they're they're no matter how strong you are, you just can't reasonably fight them because they're just so big. Yeah. I mean those are also much smaller comparatively to grizzly. Grizzlies are fucking huge. The grizzly could bite while I was getting bitten and it could swipe with its massive claws. Look at the size of the claws. Those are essentially daggers that could easily rend the flesh of a gorilla. Yeah. Look at these things, dude. I think the claws and the size really just just the gorilla would have a hard time reaching the neck of a grizzly, seeing how much shorter it is. Six feet versus nine or ten feet. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Look at the Sorry, as the kids up. say, sheesh. And I believe a grizzly could easily push over the gorilla if they went chest to chest, given its much greater size. What if you get a nine foot tall gorilla? You know, I guess in that situation, you might be a little more. Uh... This is the question that always like when the Internet does these kind of things, they always just keep one upping it for ridiculous reasons. The gorilla has very little in the way of defense. It doesn't have extremely thick skin, so the bear's claws and bite will easily rip yeah, into the flesh. that's a good point. Its bones are thick, but not thick enough to withstand the onslaught of a bear. And bones are thick. <clears throat> like, a bear is just humongous. They wear boxing gloves. I don't know if that's going to really change anything. It's interesting. Not now it isn't, but it could be in the future. Oh, Mike the male. <clears throat> show. What about nine one-foot-tall gorillas? <laughs> Who wins? Uh, nine one foot tall gorillas or one nine foot gorilla? Gorillas are one bad. The, the gorilla could steal a mail truck and run into it. Messed up. I don't think a mail truck would even stop a bear. 
thousand pounds, man. <clears throat> Dude, there's pl- there's like actual recorded stories, plenty of people shooting a bear in the head with a shotgun, and it's still killing the person, like living long enough to still kill them, or just survive. Yeah, to be fair, a, a bear doesn't have to do much to a human being to mortally wound them. Like they're just really big. It's definitely in the if you're ranking like fighting animals, they're definitely in the kills you, not even close category. What so, a gorilla with a gun. <laughs> now you gotta fight. Oh god. We are so weak. You're right. It's just funny. I think gorillas, I think bears are one of those creatures that like people don't really appreciate the size of them until you yeah. like see them in person, person or like yeah, sure. actually hear how big they are. Also, a lot of people don't realize they run really fast. Like really fast. It's basically a cheetah. Do I just block and trade with this guy? God, it feels correct. I don't want to give them more things. Yeah. Like this guy's adding one mana. And then I can Garrick this guy. <laughs> a bear called me a wizard. Yeah, bears are bears are hurtful, man. Sorry, I'm sorry you had to go through that. Also in the same category, ironically, gorillas also in the totally kills you. Oh, what bar, man? Uh, so are hippos, sadly. Dude, hippos are so big. Hippos are like the the mouth on a hippo is so immensely large. What about a hippo versus a grizzly. A brizzly? I think what depends, the fuck is a brizzly? I think it depends on the territory. If, I think if it's in the water, the hippo wins for sure. Oh, yeah. Hippo wins any, against anything in the water, dude. I, I don't Land think though, there I is. Because uh, their, their jaws are insane, right? Dude, look at... Hold on. Let's also, at, I'm pretty sure a hippo could, in fact, get it, a grizzly's head in its mouth. Like, a hippo can crush a whole... A, like, a full-size pumpkin in its mouth. And pumpkins ain't shit. <laughs> you probably put a small car in there. Like They're so big, dude. I want to... What is this? Yeah, but I still want to pet him. Even though he can't. Because you'll die. Cute until they murder you, you know, bro? Especially baby hippos. Oh, my God. Oh my God, they got a blight steel, huh? The bear has a banana for the grill to slip on. Balling with the bits. Oh, look who's back. But let's see what you said. Oh, just cheer 100. Okay, who's back? Guess who's back? Balling. What are we talking about? Someone gave him a sub, remember? A sandwich, a submarine sandwich, yeah, a submarine sandwich. That sounds from public. A hero, someone gave him a, a delicious hero sandwich. Yeah. I don't know what Strange World is. Do you know what that is? Is that about Doctor Strange? I don't know. It's a Disney thing. I'll I didn't, watch it, it didn't say thank. I mean, maybe I just missed it. I'm not really a person that. Either way, thank you. I appreciate you. you know, friend says they want to watch a thing. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, let's do it. Sheesh. Sheesh. <clears throat> Oh, they experience. got a memory jar? Are they going to do it right now? Are they going to jar? I hope they do. That'd be great. Are they going to do a big jar? <laughs> Actually, they'd be bad, right? Jar's bad on... Yeah. I like it when you call me big jar... Man. Jarman. <clears throat> okay, I think we're losing this game. Oh, Kabon, are you here sooner? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that. Oh, that's so good. That's like criminally good. Well, I'm conscious, so I apologize. Michael's dead. Basically. I'd usually be very asleep by now. Got, old. Got a real job. Is though I also want to play Crater Hoof and kill their Duretti? And that feels correct. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We go to eight. No, I don't understand those numbers. I appreciate that they're big, and that's all I know. I hope you have food in the house. You should starve, right? Like you can't even probably get delivery. Yeah. Not delivery, Michael. It's Bergiornos. Oh, we just killed him, right? Yeah, just tag them. Yeah, that seems like a better better plan. Just do the big Pro move. I guess he could have something, but 
what? What could they have? They have to Swords take a point to do it. To plowshare. They have one card in their little hitty hand hand. They're going to crack the jar to see if they have a one mana answer. Here we go. Condemn. Swords to plowshare. I already said that one. At the exile. And they died. All right. We got to get We got to get this. Uh, I figure after this, Michael B is probably going to take his big poop and go to bed. Yeah, something like that. Do we have any other cards that kill? I kind of just want like. I feel like our draws have been not great. Like our first game, we literally had like four huge things, nothing to do with them. Second game, we had channel with nothing to do with it. All right, I, I think our I think we're probably fine. They're not super. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's a ticket. Also, they're on the play, so they'll have at least two permanents. Stay oh, yeah. for the fireworks. Oh yeah. Well, that's that's good because in a perfect world, this game is going to end quickly. Yes. No, no, no counter spells, right? I don't think we've seen a single counter spell. Good. That's good. That's good. Eleven plus six. 17 plus 2 is 19. We go, do we go to 1 and play both? That's the yes. question. Really? Wait. No, he's red. We haven't I seen Lightning Bolt. I haven't seen anything damage -y. Yeah, but is it worth the Damn. risk? He's already dead. Like, you know. You know. What's he going to do? Huh? Nothing. You know his channel just play Worm? But I wouldn't. Ouch, 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 ouchy, ouchy, ouchy. Ooh, ah, ee, ooh. What do you want? Don't play it? Think so. A better line. I'm not sure the extra colors are better, whereas, like, we can get rid of this with a lot more cards in our deck if we draw a Rex Sage or something. Sure. You know what I mean? But I think it's it's pretty minimal. So yeah, just to kill the lion. That's fine. But it's any permanent, right? Yes. I guess you don't care about the monkey anymore. Well, I kind of want to get rid of it just in case they have something. Get rid of the monkey. I kind of agree with that. Do it. Kill the monkey. I think it's going to one. Jeez. I mean, if they have one turn... Don't feel it there. I'm I'm YOLOing. We're YOLOing. I don't think he has any burn. And I'm gonna take it to the bank. You guys almost got a free show. There's a little belly out there. Like strong mountain. It did it, it did. It was like slam that. It felt like it felt like it hit. Like it was a deliberate mountain. Although this one goes slow. But I'm like one if one swing with this guy and we get it back. So, Damn, man, they this is indestructible. This can go, but that doesn't hurt us. Yeah. It puts him to exactly six permanents, which Willamog will kill. Oh, wait, for you're right. It's not six. They're, okay, that's everything well, then. Yeah. Oh man. No gamble, no future, Michael. The grave. I think he was dead. All right. For those on YouTube, I'm sure that was very jarring. Michael B has left and gone to bed. And I went to the bathroom, and now we're back. Yeah, shoulder, it actually would have been kind of funny. <laughs> like, oh, I guess we lose. That was a pretty good game, though. I mean, we did exactly what we wanted to. We channeled until we got to one life. Now we wait. 
Mike left us, but that's not what I'm going to do. Name that movie. I bet at least three of you will know it. It is, that is Jurassic Park, correct? Nailed it. Nailed it. I wonder how long it's going to take. I wonder if I should just cut this part out of like YouTube videos. I'll just pause it until the match starts. Let's find out. All right, we are good to go. G2G, as the kids say. Okay, I'll keep it. We got a lot of things we can hit. What if we draw like back to back colorless cards? That would be sweet. Playing something. The Raven Inspector, the Thraby Baby. Okay, that is a colorless card, but I guess I did not specify. I should have been more clear about what colorless cards I wanted to draw. It's okay. It's okay. Just gonna hit a Karn off the top. It's not gonna be the best thing we can hit. 10 mana Ulamog is probably the best thing we can hit right here. It was another forest. I uh, accept that. Don't love it. Not necessarily a fan. Okay, you're getting a little aggressive now. I'm not sure I appreciate it. Hmm. No, don't like. I guess you're paired with him, but you only deal two, so that's not really the most dangerous. Okay, another forest. Gotta be a Eureka on top. You ready? It was Bird of Paradise. I am dead inside. If we hit a land on the top next turn, we get to play it. So that's really pretty good. Such a weird card. It's an enchantment land saga. It has to gain the ability to tap for a colorless in order to even tap for a call. It's such a weird card. This almost feels like, this feels like a card that should have been in Future Sight. Like an enchant instant in your graveyard. Oh, that's good. That's a good, that's a good choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, after this, we're probably going to pack it up. Oh, there he is. Oh, but it was too late. It was all for naught. Okay. Um, probably going to bring Thragtusk over Kogla. Just having a little creature a little sooner might be nice. That's probably all I can really... All I can really muster here. It feels like... I feel like we're not getting a good mix of, like, early... We have Arbor Elf, Birds, Noble, Rafelos, Wall of Roots, Sylvan Carry added. All of these cards to play on turn one or two, and we're hitting like Courser of Crucifix into Birds of Paradise, which is kind of weird. Plus, we'll have Channel with nothing to cast off of it, and we have you know these four main deck cards to to hit. We haven't hit Eureka yet. We've had Progenitus in hand without Natural Order. We haven't drawn Natural Order once. Just kind of like, kind of like bad luck.
Uh, queen is fine, but I feel like once we get to seven mana, we're probably either already winning or dead. Like this, like nothing on two, two ten mana cards. That's better. I will keep and we'll shift the, ship the behemoth for now. Well, it's super great here, but channel is nice if we hit like an Ulamog off the top, like they're probably dead off that. Even a Karn to be able to like get rid of a land or a creature and then just start ripping apart their hand. Honestly, I'll take any, any of our colorless cards at this point. I can also mute Michael's. So nothing yet. We could actually just play Oracle of Moldiah. Off of channel. But that doesn't do anything. I will just wait one turn. And then if we hit a big fat daddy, we can in fact cast that. So, you know, that's cool. Stop it. Fire and Ice is pretty good. It's no sort of body and mind against us, though. Honestly, now I'm kind of half tempted to play Channel into Garrick and Nyssa. Or not Nyssa, but Oracle. Because then we can just play Nyssa, and Nyssa's almost like a Channel at this point. One, two. Two for Channel. One, two. So we'd pay six. Oh my god, Dan's with the sub. Dan's 11, appreciate you so much. This feels okay. We can't play everything, right? We can play Nyssa. On, oh, we can play everything. You're smart. So four. Channel is going to be two. One, two, three. Nyssa. Untap this. Tap it for two. Um, one, two, three. Oracle. Playing this first in case we hit a land we did not. One, two, three. Gary. Uh, create a wolf. Or do we just shoot? I think we actually just shoot you. Then you have one creature. You can't play sword for a discount. And then we pass, right? You're good, you're good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh my god, I love this Homer Simpson going back into the bush emote dance. Dance, do you know of any efficient way to... I, I This, this might be a, a wild shot, but do you know any efficient way to remove music from a clip like if i have an audio clip and i have someone's voice on it and i want to remove i want to remove loud background music from it is there like a software or even like a site that would do that probably not a site i guess because you, you want to have more control over it but is that like a, a common thing that's done i ask you this as a music professional Like if you have like an interview and there's loud music in the background, is there an efficient way to remove that music without spending like $7,000 on equipment <laughs> that would do that for you? Interesting. If there's two lands on the top, that's all I could ask for. Hmm. Dan's, I also accept if that is uh, completely outside of your realm. You can do it. It'll just cost you. That's what it feels like, right? It feels like one of those really specific, um, like really specific procedures that like 
that you need like, oh, there's a machine. It's actually $2.6 million. And that's the only thing that's able to do such a thing. When I worked with Sony, the sound designers had some stuff. Yeah, I'm like, I, I, it's funny because I assume there's, um, I assume there's definitely things that can do it. Ooh. Ulamog. I think we just, I think we're, I think we're way ahead right now. These guys have vigilance too. Can you imagine? What a wild ride. Two mana. I'm curious. What are you up to? Flashing this in. Got it. Back a creature. We'll make a wolf this turn, but I think next turn we're going to go get Crater Hoof. That sounds correct. And if they want to attack with their... If they want to block with their Cathar Commando, that's totally fine. Feeling okay. Yeah, seems good. All right. They do a surprising amount of enchantments and artifacts. They have Urza Saga, uh, Sword of Fire and Ice. I bet they got a Porcelain Legionnaire in there. Background, we were like white, white noise. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm familiar with stuff like that. Like, I think you could even do that with like Audacity. Take a lot of the white noise out of the background. Fascinating. Dan's is sending me links. You guys keep saying Queen seems good. I agree with you, but like the thing is, if we have that much mana, we already have enough cards that are going to put us over the top. Like, if we get to seven, we're probably just casting this or this. Actually, it might be better than, than this, but I don't want to remove Karn because of his synergy with Channel. Uh, Eldarmory's Call would be good if we had more than just Temple Garden. Otherwise, I'm not messing up the mana for just that. Oh, Beatles, thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. I submitted, right? I just want to make sure I'm like, is it me? No, it's the children who are wrong. Hey, this is funny because despite having only one land, I think this is still a keeper because any one land we hit circle into natural order into... Progenitus. Like, yeah, for the for the impact, like between between Karn and Hornet Queen. Like, I'd rather have the one that synergizes with Channel. And they just love these one drops. They love them. They can't get enough. Oh, they're that's not bad if we can if we can land it one land off the top okay i have to I have to channel my inner my inner brain power and put the one land on the top of the deck you ready anything else i asked you nicely and you did it anyway
So it's just, I'm so, oh. That's kind of like a land, right? <laughs> it's, mm, one, two, three. If we hit a forest, it's five mana. And then we can go Nissa, untap. Mm, nothing else. Okay, I understand. Well, my fingers are crossed, that's for sure. Also, please don't forget to support the channel by liking, following, and subscribing. Those are all things you can do that help us out. And then we get to stay alive. I personally enjoy staying alive. It's one of my favorite pastimes. If someone's like, hey, what are you doing today? 99% of the time, I'll be staying alive. So yeah, actually, Dan's this isn't even a green screen. It's actually just the NVIDIA background removal tool, which is easier than having like a whole screen back here, you know? Because that's kind of a pain, to be honest. Uh, I think if we forest into Eureka, we're 100% winning that with Thrag, Tusk, Worm Coil, Nissa, and Circle, and then we can actually untap next turn. Or we can actually play. See, this is this is just this is just miserable. I mean, I'm doing okay, I guess. They have three cards in hand. If if we get to untap with this, we just win, hundred percent. Three, four, five, six. We go Eureka. We put this, 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 this into play. We untap a land with Nissa. We play Natural Order. We get either Progenitus or Crater Hoof. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we either have to survive this turn or untap. What do they got? Four, five, six, seven. They have seven damage right now. So I'll go to 11. And then I'll play a Worm Coil and a Thrag Tusk. Keeps me alive. And I have to deal with all of it. And then you guys are going to be like, wow, Eureka's really cool if you build it right. And I'm going to be like, yes, yes, children. I know. Oh, 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 perfect. <laughs> you fool. So they have like basically no hand. So we're going to be the only one putting things into play with Eureka. I mean, you got rid of three mana and then you gave me two mana. So you literally reduced me from one mana. One Manus if you will. I'll even take another land, to be quite honest. Perfect. Perfecto. So four, and then we still have three. Yeah, let's do it. Select a permanent, this guy. Your turn. Cool, this guy. Like, now I can even get Rex Sage or, or, like, something else with Natural Order. And one, two. Uh, Garrick on top. I don't care about that. That don't impress me much. Huh. I mean, I'm not even going to. I almost think it's just Rex Sage to keep us safe from Steel Seraph. Do we need that though? I mean, we just. So they just give both these flying, it's nine damage. I think it's actually probably Eternal Witness, or uh, Rex Sage rather. That just feels safer. Like not being able to give all your nonsense flying just seems better <laughs> to avoid. Not the best top, not the best card on the top of the deck here. Uh, instead of Hornet, I yeah, Hornet Queen or Kogla would have been good here, but I see your point. <laughs> I see your point. I mean, that's just how it goes, right? Like, there's always going to be cards that are super good at different points. 
Oh my God, we could have played it because of the Oracle. Oh my God, you're right. Oh God, that's really bad. I did forget that. I like the Twitch... <laughs> shows you when it's someone's first time chatting because then you know that their first time they've said something was to correct you that's always good <laughs> can you explain the bot playing cradle line not playing cradle line yeah so sometimes um i make big no no mistake because me stupid Oh, Eternal Witness is actually very good. Uh huh. So you can pump this guy once, then twice, then three times a lady next turn. He doesn't get first strike when he's a 2 2, right? You make it a 2 2 this turn. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, they just take it. That's fascinating. Did not expect that. So they're going to pump this guy twice, then attack for s for eight. That's a lot. And then they can equip it with Batter Skull, possibly? They didn't equip. They didn't... Wait. Oh, it's three to make it a four four. Never mind. I'm stupid. I thought it was two for some reason. What am I thinking of? Like first level's one, second level's two. I don't actually know what I'm thinking of with that. I didn't activate Nissa either. Oh my God, there's so much going on. I'm distracted by the chat. I, I don't mean to blame you guys when I say that. It's just me being not being able to like do all the processing. <laughs> it's like definitely was not. I think in my head I was like, okay, I don't need to do this because... I don't have, okay, we just win the match. Even though we like didn't play our, our Gaia's Cradle off of, off of Oracle and we didn't activate Nyssa, like, like donks, complete donks. Well, let's see if we can trophy with this deck. It feels like a trophyable deck. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. I didn't mean to say, I didn't mean to say it so, so harshly, but yeah, you guys are, you guys kind of suck. No, it's it's all me. It's very it's a lot to it's a lot to juggle. And maybe that's me and I accept that, but you know. Cause really, if you guys weren't here, it'd be this would be just me playing with myself. Hmm. Rip. Streamer nerves. Yeah, it's it's just I'm just kidding. My hands are really sweaty. I'm really anxious. What can you do? Uh, doing what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is this is the hand. This is the hand that we've been waiting for. Turn three progena progenitus. Oh, I see. You're just going to channel on turn one and, and beat us out. That's... Don't do it. Don't tap it. Don't channel. Don't do it. What? Come on, why are you being like this? Don't do it. That's not the thing I care about. This is a good start. So next time we get to go wall into bird. One, two, three. They didn't crack this guy, which is fascinating. Oh, they can crack it now to get a clue? Sure. Land clue. Land crack clue. Land crack clue and I don't care. They have one card in hand? That's great for us. I feel like we have a lot of time now. Like the guy in the Twilight Zone where the when the world ended and his the glasses broke. There was time now. I too have a lot of things. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I think this might be better. This is the third Urza Saga deck we've played against, is it not? Our round one opponent, 
had it with the Ragavan deck. Our round two opponent had it in their white deck, and this is our round three opponent. This is the third Urza Saga deck we've played against. That's kind of hilarious. That's a good card for you. But does it beat a Progenitus? You have no mana to crack a clue, right? So I can easily block here with no consequence? Sounds good. Making sure I'm not missing something. They have no cards in hand. Great. Great. Great, Scott. Great, Scott. I feel like if we hit this, would we have won? Five, six, seven, eight. Plus four, plus four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. No, it would have been sixteen. But that's okay. What are we sacking? Probably Oracle? Or uh, Noble? Actually, I think Birds is probably better to sack. I think if we're getting Progenitus, like, the Exalted might be a little bit more pleasant. We have Kogla in here? Oh, we do. We can get Kogla fight tireless tracker. But really, is it, how's it ever anything but progenitus, right? Like, what can they do against that? It's a two-turn clock. Like, they get to green sun for something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. So they can green sun for something that costs seven. They have Hornet Queen on the top, so they can green sun for that. But Progenitus. Hornet Queen? Progenitus. I have not seen you online in years. Well, it's been that long, Brian, but, you know, I appreciate it. Happy New Year, buddy. Progenitus has protection from itself. Draw a card, play queen, hoof from green sun zenith. They have it. Um, they don't have enough. I don't think. I think they're one mana shy to do that. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They only have eight mana. Didn't think we'd be watching Return of the King tonight, but here we are. That's funny. That's a funny joke. It's been 84 years. Okay, so they hit a water log. They have Hornet. What was the other card that was on top of their library that they drew? Do you remember? Four Hornet Queen? Green Sun Zenith, that's correct. The, the card we've been talking about. Green Sun for six. Is it going to be prime, prime time? I feel like it might be. I feel like everyone just loves getting prime time. The primest of the times. They have one card. It's Hornet Queen. Progenitus must be a virgin. Can't even touch itself. Wow. And no one else can touch it either. It's sad. Sad. Very sad. Kogla. That is an interesting choice. What was that? Uh, so now they have Vista on top. I don't think they can win here, actually, now. They don't have access to many things other than... Oh, good lord, that's a guy. Play this, dude. I'm going to actually kill the Oracle... So then you're literally in top deck mode here? Okay. Hornet Queen, you draw the Vista. No, you don't. You get to search. Oh, yeah, this is in your main phase. So now you have Vista and Hornet Queen in hand. You search with Urza Saga. 
Progenitus, I think, might be an insult Proud Boy. Think about it. <laughs> More like Proud Genesis, am I right? What was that? What did they play? Oh, they just activated a clue, so they have three cards now. Sure. They have to gain three life, at least. Four life. They have to gain four life in order to to stymie my progenitus. Now they're running out of, like, they have one, two, three, four, five mana, six mana now, so. And progenitus does the deed. Good grief, man. Can someone Photoshop the art, the progenitus art, but have each of its heads have a MAGA hat on? Wow. Wow. We're getting spicy here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's mono green, right? See, this is an interesting matchup where Eureka is really going to come down to like who has the better hand. What did we see? We saw Tireless Tracker, Hornet Queen, Kogla, Green Sun Zenith, a bunch of ramp. They did have a mountain. That is true. But they were mostly mono green, right? Let's be honest. They were mono green splashing a couple cards, but. We'll just submit like this. I don't really see anything being super. This is interesting. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> if, we, if we hit channel, we're good. If we hit any, any sort of ramp, we're good with these two. It's kind of has that. It's like there's a lot of cards we can draw that make this hand very, very good in my opinion. That wasn't one of them, but maybe, maybe Eureka is, I don't know. So I'm like channel here, natural order here. Any one drop lets us play this guy into, into this guy. Skur Tribal, Bird of Paradise. Into Urza Saga, sounds good. see this is how it's gonna go this is how the second round is gonna go my round i meant game in the third round hmm. fascinating i mean next turn he just gets rex sage there is a saga which is pretty decent did we see them i guess we didn't see them search for anything but i think they have um, they just have Mox Emerald to get, so. Yeah, take that. Just gonna play this guy here. Get rid of their, get rid of their Urza Saga. It's gonna go away on its own, but it's easily gonna replace itself with, um, the Mox Emerald. So it's almost the same as getting rid of this. Both are going to deny them one permanent mana. But they also have the opportunity to like make a creature with this next turn or search for something even worse like a Skull Clamp. So feels more correct to, to do that. Also, if we hit channel, we just channel for 21 and play both, Emer both Ulamogs. Who hasn't been there, you know? So they drew... That guy, yep. Creatures. A lot of a lot of mana dorkos here. Sure, I'll take four bajillion damage. Thank you. Just play Kogla next turn. That's frustrating. This hand is actually sick with a Eureka, especially because they have two cards and they just dumped all their their gentlemen out. I will dominate. What I'm back. Welcome back, buddy. Really good seeing you. is a very cryptic message. Uh, 
I don't think Oracle's gonna do it for us. This might just be, you know what? Maybe they do. Maybe we see a Eureka on top. Oh, it's a Karn. Okay, we're just gonna scoop here. Cause we draw a Karn even if we have a couple lands, like this is presuming that it's just Kogan to kill it. So we're just gonna be stuck there. All right. Oh God, definitely shipping this hand. That's even worse. It's actually worse. This is how it goes. All right, this is a keeper. This is a keeper. So we got to get rid of two cards. Witness is easily one. I think Rex Sage might be two. Done. Every time I see Pelucranus in the cube, I'm just like, this is so much worse. This feels worse than, than Questing Beast. That's fascinating. Do we just play, this adds two, one, two, three, four, five. So if we get a forest, we need a forest either way, right? We have five mana, but this is a better use of mana this turn. Yeah, if we hit any land, we get to go, oh no, we don't. We don't actually get to, uh... that's actually probably better to be quite honest. Is he a mortars? Interesting. I mean, I actually, I'm kind of glad that got hit instead of, instead of Rafelos. So I wish there was some way we could have played this first, but it wasn't meant to be. I can't imagine they have double removal. So next turn we get to just play Kogla, maybe if we hit a land. What if our land is a Gaia's Cradle? Eric Relentless. Green Sun for three. That's fascinating. Sage. Tireless Tracker? Could be a Tireless Tracker. It is an Augur. Okay. Well, if we hit a land here... <laughs> Two six drops. Yep, I'm just gonna pass here. We play lands from the top of your library. As long as you control three more creatures, they don't have that. I feel like they're this is like the slowest start they've had, which actually makes me feel a little better. Destroy sure, text target artifacts or enchantments. Great up to. Wait. Great twice. What did they target? X is one. So you choose zero for the number you're destroying, but X is still one. That's weird. What a weird card. That's very confusingly wording and I'm worded and I'm not sure I ever would have just known that. So this is a guaranteed mana. We know they don't have mana on the top. So if we kill this, even if they draw land, they have the same amount of mana. If we kill this, well, we know there's not a land on the top, right? They would have played it. So I think this is actually better to kill. Now I've just convinced myself. If there was a land, they would have played it.
Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me know if this is good. Is this a Gotti? Is this a 3 0? Are we doing it? Oh my God. Mm. Another trove. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the buttons. Like, subscribe, follow, do the things on Twitch, on YouTube. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.